It's recording. not that bad. We're recording now. It wasn't that bad. I was seeing it on there. I was looking on here. But the, it dropped like. Oh, uh, okay. Almost a quarter of the frames. So we we or no? Yeah, yeah. Okay. You know what? There's actually something we forgot to do too. Games we've been playing. Okay, yeah, yeah. Do that too. <coughs> what up, everybody? This is Rosie from the Itch Network here to bring you podcast number. Still don't know the number. Don't remember. Nope. But the main point of this podcast, and I'm Spencer, by the way. Are, are you Spencer? I'm Spencer. Who are you? I think I'm Rosie. Oh, okay. Actually, I feel more like Eric today. Okay, you can be Eric. I'm Eric. Um, and I'm Rosie. And we're here to talk about the Video Game Awards of 2017. But before we get into that, Eric, what games have you been playing besides Sonic? <laughs> <laughs> well, I've been playing a lot of Destiny. I'll tell you that for true. Uh, I don't think he uh, has. Yeah. <laughs> Yes. Oh, wait, you left that chat group. Oh, is he still, you guys still playing Destiny? Well, they're still playing. I stopped playing. Yeah. I, I, I can't, I can't. Seems I, like the right thing to do. Yeah. Honestly, great game. It's just, I feel myself like falling. I fell into that trap hard again. And then I realized I was in a bear trap. So I was just like, I need to get the fuck out of this right now. Because it was just eating up too much time. And it's just, it's essentially the same like rinse and repeat kind of stuff activities so yeah oh, okay. didn't feel interesting in the dlc but what i've really been playing is eric i've been playing kotor oh one of my favorite games yeah just the all time if you haven't played kotor that is literally one of the best rb rpgs period you should it's and definitely one the best star wars game we got out now especially all that hubbub with star uh, battlefront yeah uh, besides that, played a little Overwatch last night. It was fun. What about a little Cuphead? We played a little Cuphead. It was fun. That's a good game. I, I like it. Yeah. Uh, I'm glad you liked it, even though we weren't doing the best at it. No, that's not the point. That's what I'm saying. But a lot of people were like, man, it's so hard that I don't, I don't like the game. Why? It's really hard. It's like, okay. It's just like, you know, it's a classic game. You just learn the, the pattern. That's, and get good, you know? That's what I was thinking, too. I was like, it's, this is how you would do an arcade game, essentially. It's just, like, make it this kind of difficulty in such a way. But, you know, the, no coins, obviously. Just simply have you restart the whole level. Yeah. But do better every time. I like it. I like it a lot. So, uh, Rosie, uh, what have you been playing? Uh, I've been playing Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Which is really good. And it's long as fuck. And then I've been playing um, League of Legends. Can and I? then doing a lot of crossword puzzles. What? Okay, what? Crossword puzzles? Yeah. Why? On my phone. I just like crossword puzzles a lot. Oh, okay. That's cool. In a way. Uh, kind of a busy week, though. I haven't played a lot of video games. But it's been busy at work, too. Whew, crazy. But hey, let me ask you something. Is he on Blade? Do you get mechs in that game? We haven't yet. Okay. Probably not. I would hope not. Okay. I hate mechs. Okay. I just remember the last game that you had mechs. So, I was just wondering. But, what are we talking about today, man? Alright, so let's start with... Well, let's not start. Let's do the Video Game Awards for 2017. Okay. And we're going to start from the most worthless <coughs> and go to the most venerable. Okay? Alright. And we're going to skip some weird ones, like this Chinese Fan Game Award. I, I want to know why. Why is it a Chinese Fan Game Award? I have no idea. Why wouldn't it just have its own, like, why wouldn't it be just bunched in with whatever genre the game is in? Or, like, it, like fan games. Yeah, even that. But why does it have to be... They got their own. Specifically Chinese. I don't know. This is odd. But we, we've already done this. This is... Uh, Step Shut two. No, stop. Well, there's part of it's a guessing one, so who no, cares? Come on, let me guess. All right, go. These, these for like two of them, <laughs> we're gonna pretend that we're that we don't know what they are. Okay, best debut for an indie game. Oh, it's a cuphead. Presented by Shit Quattro. <laughs> Is it cuphead? Here are your nominees. <laughs> it's probably cuphead. <laughs> cuphead. Golf Story. Hollow Knight. Mr. Shifty and Slime Rancher. 
Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, this is a tough one. <sighs> Cuphead? No, no, it's actually Mr. Shifty. No, it was Cuphead. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> You're right, it's, it's Cuphead. Um, next one is Student Game Award. Who cares? Best Esports Team. Who gives a shit? Uh, best Esports Player presented by Omen by HP. I don't know any of these players. Who cares? Best Esports Game. All right, let's get into it. This one we also know, but he's going to pretend like he does By the way, the best esports team is probably Cloud9. I don't have to guess. <laughs> Here are your best esports games. <laughs> Potentially, it could be Counter-Strike Global Offense. If. Global Offensive. <laughs> Dota 2. League of Legends. Overwatch. Or Rocket League. It's probably Rocket League. You already know the answer to this one because <laughs> we already went over it, but it is Overwatch. And I we had our little talk about. Can we, can we just talk about. It's probably Rocket League. No, I already told you it's Overwatch. <laughs> it's Rocket League. <laughs> well, my thing here says Overwatch. That's but, wrong. But uh, yeah, I think that it's very dumb. Why? Um, why would they say that Overwatch is the best? Especially, like last year I would get it because it came out. It made a wave. It did its thing. It's not making a... It, it's wave. It's getting bigger. Is it? Yes. Do you know how big the League of Legends wave is? It's still big, yes. <laughs> I mean, but... I mean, I guess in a way... In a wave. They want to allow other games. Because oh, League of Legends already has this big fan base. I'm not even sure. Is it still growing? Or is it at just a steady, big pace? For Overwatch, I believe more players are playing it now than they did last year. I don't have the numbers for that. Someone at home let me know. But I just feel like I hear more people like, hey, we've been playing with it. Well, I tried Overwatch for the first time. It's actually pretty good. Like I don't I thought everybody stopped playing Overwatch. I mean But apparently apparently not. No. But it's just, like it's always relative. So it's always what I see from my people. Right. Who are your people, by the way? Like you guys and oh. stuff. And I don't see a lot of Overwatch talk. I think JD still plays. Yeah, JD still plays. I got back into it yesterday. It was fun. I played Farah. Got smacked. I forgot. You want to get whiplash in that game? Play that game after playing something as slow as like Call of Duty World War II. Is Call of Duty slow? Yeah. You're, you, it's a boost to the ground. So it's essentially army based, not military, or no, not military, not modern. So, you, it, but it plays like a modern, they essentially do the same, guns do the same thing as they always did. Yeah. <coughs> or, you know, as the, any of the modern FPSs do, Call of Duty do. Um, there's a, a thing called Trending Gamer. Oh, is this like the YouTubers and such? I think or so. Like, okay. I don't know who any of these people are. Let's see. Andrea, Re we don't know these, by the way. Well, I, he doesn't. I, I do, obviously. Uh, Andrea Rene, What's no. Good Games? Okay. Clint Lexa? No. Nope. Half Coordinated? No. Guy Beam? Dr. Disrespect? <laughs> Great name. Mike Grzeszek Shroud? And Steven Spone, Able, Game, Able Gamers? I think it's going to be the Able Gamers. Okay. The answer is Guy Beam, Doctor Disrespect. Yeah, probably just by the name itself. So I don't. Yeah, you're right. I don't know who these, people, know these are. people are. Most anticipated game, which is got to be the dumbest category you could come up with. Is it fan based or is it vote based then? At that point, because yeah, it, it wouldn't be dumb. Unless... But it wouldn't. Well, why give an award for that? Oh, so oh, it's right. These are. Oh my bad. Yeah, never mind. Like, yeah, here's a war for being anticipated. It, it comes out, it's just dog shit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, no, here's an anticipation war for No Man's Sky. Yeah. <laughs> Good job. And then. They come out in this dog shit. Yeah. <laughs> they just, they, like, the VGAs come at you, like, give, give us that fucking award. We made a mistake. Yeah. <laughs> Did they get theirs taken away? <laughs> I don't know. Most anticipated game we have, and this is, <laughs> I gotta say, this is. Bad news for Microsoft. For Nintendo, too. 
I mean, for, for everybody besides Sony. Oh, is it number Sony games? Sony <laughs> exclusives? Most anticipated game is God, God of, of War. War 4. It's just God of War. Oh. Marvel's okay. Spider-Man. Monster Hunter World. That's on Xbox, too. Right. This next one is, too. Red Dead Redemption 2. And then The Last of Us Part 2. Oh, okay. So three of those games are Sony exclusive. <clears throat> Which three? It's, uh, God of War, I know. And, uh, Marvel Spider-Man. Of... Marvel Spider-Man is exclusive? It's made by Insomniac Games. It's They're the ones that do Ratchet and Clank. Oh, and then, uh, shit. And yeah, it's Sony right. Interactive. And then, yeah, The Last of Us Part 2. So three out of five of those are Sony exclusive. Are you uh, sure Monster Hunter's coming out for Xbox? Yeah. Okay. Because it, usually that one wasn't. No, no. It's, uh, you can pre-order it on Xbox. Okay. But anyway. So, yeah, that's... Um, Anyway, which one? Which one is number one? Oh, for most, I, I, this is a weird guess because I'm gonna guess based off of, because I would say either God of War or uh, Spider Man because it's Marvel. So the people will like who's who's this based off of? Is it off people or is it just all the gamers? Okay, uh, all of them. Oh, then it's Last of Us too. You're um, right. Last yeah, was yeah. I'm actually, I was thinking about. It. I was like, why did why did I even guess? It's Last of Us Two. That was like yeah. game of the year. You're right. Um, this one's odd because none of these are bolded, so we'll just have to guess. Best multiplayer: Call of Duty World War Two. Nope. Destiny Two. Maybe. Fortnite. Maybe. Mario Kart Eight Deluxe. Probably not. Player Unknown Battlegrounds. Yep. Splatoon 2. Uh, player Unknown Battleground. I'm going to go with that too. Somebody down the road can tell us if we're right or wrong on that. Oh. It's not, it's not oh, bolded, okay. so I have no idea which one. All right. Do we care about best racing? Someone does. Okay, okay. Best sports slash racing. I guess it's sports, but yeah, yeah, I guess that makes sense. FIFA 18. Probably. Forza Motorsport 7. Nah. Gran Turismo Sport. No. NBA 2K18. Maybe. Pro Evolution Soccer 2018. Oh, shit. It's probably one of the soccer games. I just got to figure out which one. Or Project Cars 2. No, that that was dog shit, apparently. That's what I heard. That's what I'm saying. Why, wait, how's that even up there? Oh, man. The sports genre must be just real bad. Why isn't Madden up there? Yeah, actually, that's a good question. I thought Madden was good. People play it. Um... It's not. It's gotta be fit. Gotta be FIFA 18. If it's not, you say FIFA 18, and I tell you, wrong. It's Forza Motorsport 7. Wow. Wow. Microsoft's big on that Forza thing. That's it's, like their one big. I only know flag. one guy in the history, of everyone I've ever talked to that plays those Forza games. Forza. Forza. And I. I I know a lot of people that, well, that are interested. I guess I don't know that for a fact that they bought it. And okay. most people who buy those games are, like, really into it. Like, this guy's, like, really into it, too. Here's an odd one. Okay. You ready for this? Yeah, I'm ready. Halo Wars 2, or sorry. What? <laughs> the Halo the, Wars 2 The Halo award. Wars 2 award goes to Halo Wars 2. Uh, best strategy game. Did you just get out the answer? And here are your options. No, it's just one. Oh, okay. I mean, I might have. Halo Wars 2. Mario plus Rabbids Kingdom Battle, Total War, Warhammer 2, Tooth and Tail, or yeah. XCOM 2, War of the Chosen. Should be XCOM 2, War of the Chosen. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. You are incorrect. It's Mario plus Rabbids Kingdom Battle. Hey, good job, y'all. Good job. No, I actually want to get it to Switch so I can play that game. If you do, you can borrow mine. Oh, for real? Thanks, buddy. You can borrow all my games. Thanks. Okay. I'm sorry, you, you, you can borrow all my games. You just stare at me dead in my eyes. It's kind of freaky, man. It's, it's, it's... Best family game. Okay. Seems like Nintendo's got a strangle. Yeah, I want to say, this, this should be Nintendo. <laughs> it got it a actually, war. <laughs> it actually kind of does. Almost a clean sweep. Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Probably. Mario plus Rabbids Kingdom Battle. Not sure how that fits into a family game. It's Sonic fun. Mania. It's cute. Splatoon 2. Or Super Mario Odyssey. 
Super Mario Odyssey. You are correct. I, I feel like it's not like a family game, you know what I mean? I think like, that one you can call it one. But I mean, I There's feel a like... lot of trading the controller. Okay. Go on there. I, I don't know can... how Kingdom, Kingdom Battle came in there. Those yeah. are like long, drawn out fights. You know what it should have been? Arms. Oh, yeah. That would have been a much better one. Yeah. Or that one, two switch. Oh, yeah. No. Even funny. though I heard that's dumb. Yeah. I heard, yeah. I, was like, I don't think anyone's enjoying that one. Yeah. But Arms should have definitely at least got up there. All right. You ready? Best fighting game. Here's your arms. Okay. Arms is in here? Arms is in there. Arms. Cool. Uh, Injustice 2. Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite. Mm. Nidhogg 2. It's probably either Tekken 7. And Tekken 7. Tekken 7. That's what you're going with? Yep. JD would not be happy with this answer. Because it's Injustice it's 2? It's Injustice 2. Wow. Okay, that was going to be my second guess. Injustice 2 is really good. Is it? Yeah. I don't think JD liked it that much. Okay, so when JD's like the, the center of all. FGC. I don't do I don't do fighting games, so whatever <laughs> JD says is the gospel to me. I think he always said he doesn't like it, but he never said it was bad. Oh, he just doesn't prefer it. Yeah, JD, you have to let me know and tell me if I'm wrong or not. But this is interesting. Okay. This we might have a little discussion on our hands. Okay. This one. Cool. Best role playing game. Oh fuck. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Here are your choices. This, I gotta say, looking at this, we had and it, and this doesn't even take into account Xeno, Xenoblade. It probably came out too late. Yeah, anything that came out in December is re removed. All right, here you Witcher? go. Please tell me which is least least. Which are three made it on? <laughs> Just clinging. Uh, okay, so your best role playing games are Divinity Original Sin Two. Oh, okay. Final Fantasy Fifteen. Okay. Near Automata. That's okay. Persona we... Five. Or South Park: The Fractured But Whole. Okay. What did you? What do you? Don't. Okay. Let's, let's right. do it. Let's do this because we're video game. We're, we're RPG players. So, what do you consider your favorite out of those? I'm curious. Uh, it has to be Persona Five. Me too. So yeah. my, my preference, but I haven't played Final Fantasy XV. I have it. I just haven't opened it yet. Okay. Um, I played South Park, no. I played Divinity Original Sin, very good. Yeah, I would say it's got to be between my In fact, I played Persona 5 a lot more than Original Sin, so it might, it might be biased on that. Right. I haven't played Nier Automata, but I don't know if I would like it as much. just because. And that's not a shot at the game. That's just I don't like... I, like, I really like classic RPGs, right. either turn-based or Western style. Right. I think that's a hack and slash, right? Yeah, I, I actually... Which could that. be good. I'm not saying it's bad. It's just not my style. Um, but yeah, I go for Persona 5. Okay, so now knowing that, which do you think won? If this is Western, so it has to be Divinity. It should be Divinity. It should be. But let me guess. If it's Fractured Butthole, I'm done. <laughs> is it? No, what, what do you think won? I, I think Divinity won. Divinity won? You know what I would have thought won? What? Final Fantasy XV. Nah. I thought that would have gotten it for sure. Actually, didn't it come a out? A re reinvention of the... No, it came out in February, right? Mm. Reinvention of the whole Final Fantasy, like, pulled itself up after thirteen. Really invigorated everything. Still has content coming out now. I almost yeah. wonder if they came out with that content so late so that they'd be, like, on this thing. The Video Game Awards. I wonder, if the, I wonder what developers even think of this whole Video Game Awards. They put it on their boxes. Yeah, I guess when you think about it, like if you, if someone won, if one of these games won, and then you'd be like, I never play that. They'll run out and grab it. So I guess maybe yeah, and, they, and they'll be like sequel to the VGA Game of the Year 2017 oh, or something if they make right. it too. But the answer is Persona Five. Yeah, I did not think Persona Five. Was Are you win. fucking kidding me? I wanted it to, but I didn't think it would. Oh, I I felt like everyone loves it. The Western audience loves Persona Five. Mm -hmm. Not I just didn't think it was. I didn't think I would see Persona get to this stage. Are you kidding me? I guess Persona after, Four probably after did. Persona Four, like the remakes. I, not saying the, I didn't want it to. No, I'm not I just, saying. I don't see it as like a grand stage kind of game. I guess it's broken that now. Yeah. It sold like two million copies. 
So that's pretty damn good. Yeah. So I guess it has, which is which is good news. Yeah, it's amazing news. A sh- an SMT game gets game of the year, or at least gets SM- on the, the awards game. list. A Shin Megami Tensei? Mm-hmm. Oh, is that? The, I thought that was the. Uh, oh yeah. So, sorry. They're all offshoots of each other. I always think that's the uh, Devil Trigger, or Devil Survivor. That's all of them. Oh. Yeah, they're all they're all tied together. Mm, let's see. Um, but but yeah yeah it's it's. It's a surprise to see it, but I guess we're there now, which is a good thing. I'm glad they've made it. Good job, Persona. Yeah. Good job, Atlas. All right. Uh, all right. You ready? Best action adventure game. Okay. If you don't know the answer to this already, you're a fool. Okay. You're a damn fool. I don't, I don't know the. Let me give me some. All right. What did you? Here are your choices: Assassin's Creed Origins. I'm playing it. It's all right. So maybe I don't know. Horizon Zero Dawn. Okay, I won. Super Mario Odyssey. Oh, never mind. Well, hold on. The Legend of Zelda: Breath of the Wild. Oh, never. My bad. <laughs> or Uncharted: The Lost Legacy. It's gotta be Uncharted, right? <laughs> no, it's Breath of the Wild. There's no, there's no way any of those games will get that besides Breath of the Wild. You know what? It could have been between Super Mario Odyssey or Breath of the Wild. That's what I was thinking. That's, that's what I was like, oh, it's Super Mario. And I feel so bad for Horizon Zero Dawn. Any other year the game would have come out, it would have gotten it. You know it what? is so good. But you know what the good thing is? It didn't do the Balboar mistake and put itself up against a giant. Yeah. So at least, so at least uh, it's sold. Yeah, at least <laughs> it's sold. At least people like it and are talking about it still. <laughs> The answer is Legend of Zelda Breath. Wow. Fucking Battle Boy. I will never forget that. I love that game, too. That's, I know. That's the thing. I love that game, and it's really good. But you went up against over a Blizzard game. I think Overwatch scumbagged them. I know they did, but still. If, even if it was scumbaggy, don't put it within a month of each other. I think Battle Boy announced when they were going to do it, and then Overwatch. I don't have the facts on that. But, but I think they did that, and they knew what they were doing when they released the demo the same day. Yeah. They Probably. Knew what they were doing. Why, would, why would you not? <laughs> what was You think it's going to be fair? You think it's fair? It's a business, baby. Yeah, I don't know, man. <laughs> Scumbag move, though. It is, but look where, look, where, look where they're at, and look where Battle Point's at. <laughs> who's telling who the winner is? This one is an interesting one. Okay. I've played technically two of these games, really one of these games. So I don't have much say in this, but... Hmm. Best action game. Fire Emblem Warriors? Your choices are Cuphead, Destiny 2, Neo, oh. Prey. Did anybody play Prey? No. I wanted to too, but yeah. it just didn't come up for me in the, the schedule wise. It, it um, looked fine. It just didn't look like some of my tastes. And then Wolfenstein Two: The New Colossus. Oh, I kind of hope Wolfenstein Two got it. I feel like it probably isn't gonna get it. It's probably gonna be Neo, because a lot of people will talk. Yeah, it's probably Neo. Neo, Neo's my choice. The answer is. Wolfenstein 2, oh, the new game. Yeah, good job. Uh, I've heard mixed things about that game. What mixed things? I've heard like after the like halfway mark, it really takes a downturn. No, why? Mm-hmm. I guess I'm we asking have to the play people. It. We yeah. have to play it. No, I've seen gameplay and I watched like actual a full LP of it. it oh, and it was good? Yeah, it was good. I thought beginning to end. I think it's just one of the things is that you, you become overpowered. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, best VR slash AR game. This is more for Eric, right? Yeah. Uh, Farpoint, Lone Echo, Resident Evil 7, Biohazard, Star Trek, The Bridge Crew, or Super Hot VR? Uh, I guess it doesn't matter. Super, super Hot VR. I would think that too, but no, it was Resident Evil 7, Biohazard. Which that would, I get that as well. Yeah. Ooh, this is, this is right down my alley. <laughs> Mobile game of the year. <laughs> game created by Riot. Yeah. Best game created by Riot. Uh, best handheld game. Oh, okay. Ever Oasis. I played it. Fire Emblem Echoes, Shadows of Valentia. That's probably going to win. Technically didn't play it, but I know what it is. Uh, Metroid Samus Returns. 
I played it. Monster Hunter Stories, I played it. I heard that one wasn't good. And Poochie and Yoshi's Wooly World. Poochie! Did, did not play that one. Probably Fire Emblems. If I had to guess, I would have said Fire Emblem. No. Yeah, I would have said Fire Emblem if I had to guess, but it is not. It's Metroid Samus Returns. Y yeah, that just makes more sense. It makes more sense when you think about it, but Nintendo's really been pushing that Fire Emblem. Yeah. In these last couple years. Not to mention, people love that Fire Emblem. I sure don't. I don't love it. I like it. I like it. Yeah. I liked the older games when they, like, this is kind of a remake of it, but I'm sure they add a bunch of that relationship shit. You don't like that? I hate it. My Fire Emblem. Yeah, it's just a little bit too un inorganic. You know what I mean? Like, Super it's almost inorganic. like, we just got done with this war, big battle. Hey, Sydney, you want to help me make some cakes? <laughs> it's like, yeah, yeah. oh, I'll help you out. <laughs> you know what was one of my you least I mean? favorite like, things? And, and Persona did it, and most anime inspired games do it, but they treat fighting like a joke. They treat right. fighting like, yeah, like, it's, let's. Let's go out and... How many guys did you kill? Like, I killed 500. Like, what, what are you... No, that's let's, fun. Let's go fight to the death. They, they go up, but they're not realizing, like... I don't know. It seems like they ignore the fact that they can go out there and get fucking killed. Yeah, yeah there was, there's always that weird moment in uh, Persona 5 where... What's her name? Me, Mona? Mona the cat. Yeah. She would... Like, one of the guys, what was the fucking blonde guy's name? Ruske, Yusuke, not Ruske, but the, the blonde guy. He would like, it's been a minute. Since yeah, game. it's been a minute. But he would get knocked on his ass, and then he'd be like, oh, uh, blonde dude, you're, you're, you're hopeless. I'm like, he's gonna die. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Why are you, like, like, be a little bit more sympathetic to him? I almost give that game a pass, though, because it's very tongue in cheek. Right. So it's like, all right, it kind of knows. But like, I'm playing Xenoblade. And Is it too serious? Their anime, the anime tropings in it are so strong. And they got to this part where you're fighting like a really strong enemy. And, and another thing is you beat them, but then in the cutscene they beat you up and then they keep oh. going. That really bothers me. But, um, so I'm fighting this guy and I beat him and then, but then it skips past, you know, it starts a cutscene. And then he's beating the shit out of us. We're like, oh, oh, right. so tired. And he's beating us up. And then, like, my, my friend, this is chick, she's like, oh, I can't keep going. And then the guy runs up, and he, like, makes this slashing motion with his blades. Right. It's like, and she goes, ow, and she falls over. Oh. It's like, wait, did he just hit you really hard? <laughs> or did he cut your fucking <laughs> stomach out? Yeah. That's that's anime gaming. You know what the weird thing about that trope is? Mm -hmm. That trope used to that trope devolved because there was games like um, what are those Tales of games? Yeah. In which if the boss was supposed to be stronger than you, they would whoop your ass and then cut the scene. Yeah, yeah. And now games you would beat like you said beat the shit out of them, then they would turn it around on you. I'm like, what? Why? Yeah, it's done it three times so far. That's so and I've only played it for like 20 hours. It's so dumb. Just let, let the boss beat your ass. That yeah, would be yeah. more If you want me to lose the fight, then yeah. let me lose the fight. Yeah. And then Show it, me something stronger than me. And I'll, that makes, it's like, oh, it makes sense. Yeah. Right. He's, 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 he's a badass. Games used to do that. Yeah. Games used to do that. And it's weird that they went to this now. Yeah. Why I guess that? you don't want to lose? I, I don't know. I don't know. It doesn't make any sense to me. Right. But, wait, so, recap, who won this category? Or did I, we even guess on this one? That was Metroid, Samus Return. Oh, we were just talking about the, like, the what is, the fire emblem. Okay, we just, yeah. tangent, little tangent, guys. Anime sucks. No, it doesn't. Yeah, it fucking does. Oh, you know what else they do in anime? <laughs> what do they do in anime? A guy who doesn't watch too much anime just plays it? Oh, but they do this, and you know I'm right. Don't you say it. They say, I beat him. When they, when they have, like, a fight to the death, it's like, I've beaten him. Or they say, I can't beat him. He's oh, too strong. Yeah. It's not a fucking game. <laughs> it's not Yahtzee. <laughs> Why do they do that? Because they got to emphasize. Do, they're essentially fourth wall break and be, like, looking at you like, I can't beat him. <laughs> I can't beat him. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's so dumb. Yeah. I 
<laughs> and it really killed this man. <laughs> and it really trivializes the whole damn thing. <laughs> it's like it was just a big game to everybody. Anyway, stupid. <laughs> if you're using a sword, you're gonna kill somebody. You're not gonna hit them with it, and it's gonna be like a stick, and they're like, ah, it hurts. You know what's crazy? How Kotor, I'm playing Kotor, and they explain why you have to use swords now and why they don't cut the vibro blades. The vibro blades because yeah. they literally make material that blasters can't go through, so that's why you have to go back to swords. And it's like you don't even have to explain this. I'm a fucking, I just want to kill shit, yeah. but you at least put some thought into the lore. Oh, yeah, Bioware was good, was good with that. Well, I know it was Andromeda. Why is Andromeda on any of these? Speaking of, next, the next topic is biggest, biggest total fuck up of the year, <laughs> and they're the only ones on it. <laughs> That'd be great. On Valorant 2. Worst though. games of all times. Andromeda, Andromeda, <laughs> Andromeda. Oh, in Battlefront 2. In Battlefront, oh, and then they just like, they just rip the screen off and just, yeah. never mind, Battlefront 2. <laughs> and if they're not careful, UFC. <laughs> Do you hear about that? Yeah, some but shit. I thought it was always it, doing that. Nah, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, best mobile game is the next one. Fire Emblem Heroes, better fucking not. Hidden Folks, Monument Valley 2, Old Man's Journey, or Super Mario Run. Best mobile? Oh. Best games that suck. Go ahead. Oh, okay. Well, it's probably... I, honestly, some of these might be good, but the ones I'm looking at are terrible. Fire Emblem? Is that what your guess? Like, yeah. I that don't game know. game sucked. But it won, didn't it? No. Monument Valley 2. I've never heard of it before. Yeah, I don't play games with my Hey, phone. if you can make a good mobile game, amazing. Please do it. But if you're just going to make absolute shit, the more power to you because you make a lot of money doing it. And I would like to do that as well. <laughs> I thought you were going to make absolute dog shit. Then I, I, want, I want a piece of that. <laughs> I really do. It's, yeah. You can, those kids that just click on anything? Yeah. God damn. All right, best independent game. I don't. I couldn't do it. I. I, I, I had too much of a conscience. If I'm making dog shit, if I, I got to make a good game, I couldn't just make some shit. You're a fool. Best independent game. Cuphead, Hellblade, Senwa's Sacrifice, God. Night in the Woods, Pyre, and What Remains of Edith Finch. It should be Hellblade, but it's probably going to be Cuphead again, just because it already won one. You know what I mean? I agree with you. It should be Hellblade, but it is Cuphead. That's what I figured. Hellblade was so good. It was. Uh, watching you and JD play it, it was really good. Okay. Oh. Eric just messaged me and said, don't forget I put your Switch on my charger. Oh, okay. There you go. That's a nice one. I'm always looking out for little old me. Best ongoing game. Overwatch. Destiny 2. Grand Theft Auto Online, Overwatch, Player Unknown's Battlegrounds, Rainbow Six Siege, oh, oh. and Warframe. Oh my goodness. This is actually hard because I'm thinking about the criteria of which these games would actually kind of like fall into, you know what I mean? Because League Grand of Legends Theft didn't make the fucking list? What? League of Legends doesn't make the list? Yeah, let, me, think, let, me, oh, okay, okay. let me break something down to you. How many games do you know? That have been out for over seven years, consistently online, consistently balanced, and consistently changing. And consistently watched. And consistently number one watched. At least number two of all, always. And you wouldn't even put them on the fucking list, but you put Warframe on there, and you put... Grand Theft Auto Online? That, that game's actually been involving too. Destiny 2? No, not Destiny 2. Well, you put Destiny 2 on No, I wouldn't, I would not put Destiny 2. Best because ongoing game. It came it, out this year. year. I'm saying it came out this year. You can't say ongoing game. You know what? It'd be kind of a funny joke. If they if, didn't? No, 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 no. If they're saying like Destiny 2 is like Destiny 1.5, like people have been like complaining um, about, you know what I mean? Yeah, that would be funny. If that's like kind of that. like the inside joke about it being on here. Yeah, that would be funny. What do you think, uh, one? Uh, it's probably Overwatch. It's Overwatch. 
But it should be like Grand Theft Auto. It should be League of Legends. They should get they should get their own medal I, every year just for keeping that damn game going. That's that's amazing. Who the hell else has ever done anything like that? World of Warcraft. Yeah, but that came out a different time where streaming wasn't a thing. You so know? shouldn't it be harder? I don't know. Uh, yeah, but it's, it, it's kept its presence up in that, which Ooh. is like. I guess you can. So, yeah, check. World of Warcraft probably, but yeah, League of Legends also. Like, god damn. Mm-hmm. All right, games for impact. Uh, what like games that gonna like punch me? Like, what the fuck does that mean? That means I think games that that are, like spoke out about a cause or something. I don't give a fuck. Yeah. I just want to play video games. Why, why do I need to have a cause in it? You'll see. I don't know. Bury me, my love. Oh, games that. Okay, I already got it. Hellblade: Senwa's Sacrifice. Life is strange before the storm. Night in the woods. Please knock on my door. And what remains of Edith Finch? Uh, Night in the Woods. You are incorrect. It's Hellblade Send with Sacrifice. Mm, that's cool. At least you got one. Absolutely. Best <coughs> performance. Oh, this is interesting. This is always a weird one for me. Ashley Birch for Horizon oh, Zero Dawn as Alloy. Okay. This kind of performance. As Alloy. She sucked. Uh, that character blows. I, That's not, the one so, bad okay. thing about that game. Can I, can I just emphasize that you don't think Ashley Burt sucks. You think the, like, the character in the game sucks. The performance. Oh, <laughs> I can't never write it. Performance right. was terrible. Brian Bloom, Wolfenstein 2, The New Colossus, as BJ Blazkowicz. He's good. Claudia Black, Uncharted, The Lost Legacy, as Chloe Frazier. I heard her speak. It was decent. Laura Bailey, Uncharted, The Lost Legacy, as Nadine Ross. I heard her. <laughs> it was decent. Melina Huergens, Hellblade, as Senwa. It's probably Senwa. You yeah. got it. Yeah, I mean, and I agree. And she's not even a professional. She was just like a... Just a lady. This a lady that worked yeah. there. And she fucking nailed it. That's, I'm going to say, that's what's kind of odd about... So, what, you know what? This is when I started like actually learning about all this kind of stuff. So, voice acting, the voice acting guild and such is made just so, you know, voice acting can, can get consistent work, right? It's not mm-hmm. necessarily made because these are the best and these are like the like all-star cast. Yeah. Because you can get someone technically off the street, not like not to demote anyone's job in voice acting because I know they do a lot more. But if you want just like a voice actor, you can technically get someone like me and just be like, hey, I'll do this one, you know, yeah. act out like how it's supposed to be. And it's this true. is kind of one of the truths is that this indie project shows right now. Just get somebody off the street. I wonder, I wonder if she done any acting before. She must have. She did a really good yeah. job. All right. She best really audio good. design. My phone is starting to run out of battery. Okay, so we gotta either A, hurt yourself or get you a charger? We'll see, we'll see. Uh, best audio design. Destiny 2. It's pretty good. Hellblade, Send with Sacrifice. Probably got it. Resident Evil 7, Biohazard. Uh, Super Mario Odyssey. Ooh. Or The Legend of Zelda, Breath of the Wild. Oh, actually, it's probably Breath of the Wild. But should, shouldn't it be Super Mario Odyssey? For what, just because of the classic? Just because of what that, the... That had us, at the end of the, the end credits of that... Was one of those Japanese girls singing? What? Wait, why? I For have Super no Mario idea. Odyssey? Yeah, it was the stupidest thing. Uh, I was very upset with that. Uh, the answer is Hellblade: Send with Sacrifice. Oh, for real? I for sure deserve think it deserves that. It said audio. Because, audio design, not not music. Uh, well, audio design. I I figure it has to do with elements of like how it interacts with the world itself. And a lot of times, you would in Super Mario Odyssey, especially. You would jump from like eight bit music. It would echo if you're like in a cave. It would do all sorts of crazy shit with its just sound in general. What about Hellblade? The, the multiple people talking to you. Yeah, that's true. But I, I mean, thought that was good. It, it's good. It's very good. It's very good. But I mean, that's just one gimmick. You know what I mean? Yeah. As opposed to all the gimmicks that Super Mario Odyssey plays with. Hmm. I don't know. Uh, we, you know what? Good job, though. Send you a sacrifice. Okay. Send loss. The best score, music. Cuphead. 
I wish it got it. Destiny 2, Nier Automata, Persona 5, Super Mario Odyssey, or The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Persona 5 with its like five tracks. <laughs> I wish it won. It didn't. I know. I know it's not. It can't win. You know, it literally only has like what? It has like They're good. seven great tracks. Do you, and, did you have the, the soundtrack? Yes. I listened to it. I listened to it like all week. I kind of want the soundtrack. You just let me burn oh, yeah, it I'm on my computer. Burn it. Yeah. All right. Uh, the answer is near Automato. I got to listen to that soundtrack now. Because mm-hmm. I've never played the game, never heard. It's like the... Sean was here earlier, and he, I think he put it best. It's like, it's one of the best games no one's talking about or playing. People were talking about it when it was out. When, like, when it first came out. Mm. It just kind of got lost I, in I, Yeah, I guess maybe. I just I didn't hear anything about this game. I heard a lot. All right, this one should also get its own award for most obvious answer. Best art direction. Cuphead, Destiny 2, Horizon Zero Dawn, Persona 5, <coughs> or The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. For art design? Mm-hmm. I would say, honestly, I would want uh, Cuphead to win. Just because it takes it back to that old school, like, Betty Boop. But let me guess, it's probably... Or even Persona 5. Persona 5, then... It, I, Persona 5 won. It's Cuphead. Oh, good. I would, Persona 5 would be the only other potential one. I mean, I mean, The Legend of Zelda had a good art direction, but it wasn't so much right. standout. Right. It was like, I mean, it was kind of a similar one they've done before. Right. Um, all right, best narrative. Hellblade, Send with Sacrifice, Horizon Zero Dawn, Near Automata, What Remains of Edith Finch, and Wolfenstein 2, The New Colossus. What, what is this What Remains of Edith Finch? It's been like in three categories, and I've never heard of it, and it hasn't won yet. I've heard of it, but I have no idea... I've never played it. Before. All right, guess what? It's, it's Hellblade. No, it's What Remains of Edith Finch. <laughs> okay, never mind. I guess that's why it's been up here a couple times. It's got to win one, right? All right, we're down to the last two. Okay. And neither of them make any sense. Well, no. they, they One of them makes sense, the other doesn't. But there's a weird inconsistency with them. Okay. Best Game Direction. This better go to uh, the Evil Within 2 before we even have categories. It's not on the list. That's dumb. All right, best game direction. I don't know what game direction means. Uh, Horizon Zero Dawn, Resident Evil 7 Biohazard, Super Mario Odyssey, The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, or Wolfenstein 2 The New Colossus. I don't, I don't get this category. I mean, I just don't get it. Me neither. I don't understand. So I'm just going to go Super uh, Breath of the Wild? Breath of the Wild is the answer. I, I, yay, I won. But I only guessed because it's like probably the game that... I, I don't know. Because game direction to me, like... It, Evil Within 2, I think, should have been in here. Because Evil Within 1 was critically mixed. Or acclaimed. Or it was... Mixed reviews, very mixed. I think more on the negative side. Mm-hmm. Evil Within 2 is fan-fucking-tastic. Mm-hmm. And it does such a good job with the sequel that I really wish it was the first game. You know what I mean? Yeah. But now it's kind of got this stink on it that it's going to have to shake off before anyone's even going to try it again. Well, here's the big kahuna. Game of the year? Game of the year. Oh, Breath of the Wild, let's go. Horizon Zero Dawn. Come on. Let's just, anyway, Persona 5. Anyway, I'm Rosie. Player Unknown's Battlegrounds. This is the Itch Network. Super Mario Odyssey. And The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Re- okay. And uh, it was a pleasure talking to y'all. The answer was <coughs> Persona 5. No, it wasn't. Yeah, it was. What? Look. Oh, Ah, oh, you bitch! <laughs> it was it was Breath of the Wild. It was Breath of the Wild deserved it. Yeah, it deserved it. Honestly, it's just one. Of, I'm only saying this because it's just one of those obvious. You knew it was Breath of the Wild. I'm surprised that Super Mario Odyssey didn't, didn't get me to that. Every 
<laughs> seems like on almost every category that Super Mario Odyssey was up, so it was Zelda. Yeah. <laughs> so it got beat. Because it should have. You got beat by its own company. <laughs> yeah, like, fuck. Anyway. What did you guys think of those? Did you agree with the picks? I agreed with most of them, I think. Uh, there were a few that I would go a yeah. different way with, but I'm glad Persona 5 won. Yeah. That's my big thing. Yeah, I'm glad that Persona 5 won, because... But I feel like it should have won more. I would have I liked it to win Best Music, but I haven't played all the other ones, so I don't know... Yeah, near Ultima, U- Ultima. I gotta listen to that. Automata. Automata, Automata. I'm gonna have to listen to that. Like Automatopia. I wonder what it means in that game. Automata? Yeah. I think it's because it's a robot. Oh. Like oh. automated. Is it all- oh. I would guess, but I, I'm, I'm sure there's more comp because that game's one of those weird games, so, so there's probably more to it than that, but that's what my brain tells I wonder me. wonder what anime tropes is gonna be in that game. All of them. Everyone? Yeah, you're going to fight a boss for 15 minutes with a sword. At the end of it, he's going to be like, ah, 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 he's too strong. <laughs> Metal Gear Solid did all that, too. Did it? So I shouldn't be that hard. Yeah, you'd get like a gunfight with somebody. Even like Revolver Ocelot. At the end, he'd be like, oh, this guy's good. <laughs> like, no, you have five, you have 50 bullets in your chest. Well, yeah, that game, well, but, you know. how are you going to do a boss battle once you can finish it in one shot? It's true. It's a video game. We gotta right. gotta remember that, I guess. Gotta give them health points. But in the in the cutscene, don't hit somebody with a sword and it looks like a bat hit him. <laughs> just batter up. Just he gets the sword. You're like, I'm the master swordsman, and he just holds it up like, here we go. <laughs> just yeah, sweeps yeah. it out of the fucking like stage. Ah, <laughs> that's literally what that stupid Xenoblade cutscene was. <laughs> He's like this, and she goes ah, and she's ooh, yeah, like, <laughs> ow. That was a little rough. <laughs> Hurt? Your blade's a little dull, but I mean, shit. <laughs> <laughs> He's so strong. He knocked her over with a samurai sword. Uh, that's how strong he is. He, he, doesn't, he doesn't cut anymore. He yeah. just smashes him away. He, hits him, he gets him with the dull part. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. All right. I'm Spencer. I'm Rosie. Thanks for watching. Bye.